welcome back to my channel. It is time for what was supposed to be a 48 hour reading vlog and I've had a very frustrating day, but we're gonna make it better by reading. So let me show you the books that I am gonna focus on today. Awkwardly balanced on my shoulder, but these are the five books, yes there are five in there, that I am gonna try, but I am continuing some of them. I'm gonna hopefully finish some of them. Actually, I'd love to finish all of them, but there are two that I'm pretty certain I'm gonna DNF. There's one that I might DNF, and then there are two that I definitely want to finish. So I'm going to actually put them in order of most likely to least likely to DNF. So let me get them in order, and then I'll talk to you about it. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to pick up with, I started this yesterday. Yeah, The Rewind. This is like a New Year's story, and I really, really love the plot. I like the time period. It's 1999. Reminds me of being seven. It's very flowy writing, really easy. The problem that I have with, well, there are a few problems I have with it. The main problem is consistent language that I just don't love reading in my books. So this is very possibly going to be DNF'd after the next chapter that I read, but I'm still going to try the next chapter. Then we have a book miss book that is a nutcracker retelling that I still want to give a chance, but I don't think it's going to be for me. It's Winter Dream. I'm going to give this another chapter's try, and then we'll make a decision from there. Matzo Ball, which I was really hoping to love, and I've had several issues with it. You can go back and watch my Bookmas video on that one if you want to know. The two that I want to finish are these two. First of all, we've got Once Upon a December. This is like a Christmas fantasy. It's really cute. It's basically this Christmas magical market that goes to different locations and people never remember it until they're there. And then it's like they, I don't, I don't fully understand it, but I'm definitely enjoying the vibes. And then there's also a romance between one of the like guys that works at the magical market and then this girl who visits it and he always remembers her, but she doesn't remember him. And so I made decent progress in this during Bookmas, and I would love to finish this one up. And then lastly, we've got Managing God's Money. I actually am less likely to DNF the one before this, but I know that I want to finish this, so I just put this one at the end. This also does not have to be finished in January, so I also don't want to, like, pressure myself to finish this before getting to this one that I definitely want to finish. So we'll see how this goes. Well, I made it through half a page before there being more language. I know that doesn't bother everyone, but it really does bother me, especially when it's so much that the plot doesn't, like, stand out as much as the language does. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but, like, if it's just so much that it's distracting from what's going on in the story, that really bothers me. So, first DNF of the year. Oh! <laughs> I gotta go on Goodreads and make my DNF show. It sort of pains me that the first book of the year that I updated on Goodreads was a DNF instead of a book finished, but at least I know this is just not for me, and that's so unfortunate because I love the plot, like the storyline and the writing style. It just, why does it have to have so much language? People, at least that I'm around, <laughs> don't talk like that, and I'm not talking about, you know, just Christians. Like. I know a lot of secular people who don't use any language at all, and I very much respect that, and I just don't understand the need for it. So, anyway, on to Winter Dream. Okay, plot twist, I'm actually somewhat enjoying this, so I'm gonna continue reading. Break to remind you that if you are new here, please consider subscribing if you like a variety of books, nonfiction, fiction, Christian fiction, Christian nonfiction, all the things, and then occasionally popular books, uh, some of which I like and some of which I DNF. I do a ton of different kinds of videos, including TBR games, little free library haul and on hauls, 
audiobooks in coffee shops where I go to a coffee shop and listen to an audiobook and vlog it. I do Blind Date with Bookmas, which is essentially a bunch of Christmas books wrapped up and once a month I read one of them. I do all kinds of stuff, so if any of that interests you, go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already. making good progress in this just saying but what i am trying to remember to do is ask you guys to share this video and you can do that by clicking the share button you can create a post on youtube so it's not necessarily like sharing with your own social media or anything but you can share with the people who follow you on youtube and then it kind of like helps you find other channels because if someone that you follow shares someone else who has like a similar channel or videos or something, it just helps build community. Um, so I do want to try to remember to remind you guys that that is an option and I would really appreciate if you could share this video. Okay, one thing that I did last year during Bookmas that I kept thinking about but forgetting during this year um, is an emoji of the day and so for this video I want you to leave in the comments an emoji that makes you think of the nutcracker or the nutcracker makes you think of whatever just an emoji that relates to the nutcracker to you I guess I'm not far from the end and I'm actually pretty surprised because I was definitely thinking I was probably gonna DNF this but that's not been the case. I think once I actually got to Winter Dream, it became so much more interesting and I became a little bit more invested. So, just a little bit left to go. I ended up really liking this and I think I'm gonna give it four stars. One book down and one DNF, but yay, making it progress. The next book that I'm going to get into is The Matzo Ball, but right now my throat hurts so bad. Still, I don't understand. Um, so I'm going to go try to eat something, take some medicine, and get ready for bed, but I will get back into this. So... chapter 10 and it's okay there are still some issues that I have with this there is language throughout it one thing that I'm really enjoying is the like there are descriptions of Jewish culture and Jewish life and like phrases and stuff like that that I'm really enjoying learning about because it's like things that I've never heard before um and I think that it's just it gives it's very enriching to learn about so Anyway, I'm just going to take this little break here to remind you to thumbs up this video if you're enjoying it, and let's keep going. Well, I don't think that this is something that I will reread. I am enjoying those aspects of, like, the Jewish culture and also the plot. Like, the matzo ball sounds like it's going to be very interesting. Um, I like the love interests together and hearing their backstory and their perspective, but I also just like, I don't understand what happened. Like, why did they stop talking all those years ago? Looking forward to kind of the truth coming out, I guess, and seeing where this goes, but there are still little things here and there, like, but I just, I don't understand why it needs to be in here, but nevertheless, making good progress. Okay, update. There are parts of this that I'm really enjoying, like laughing out loud, 
and then there are parts that I just don't think need to be in here and then it goes off on tangents and I feel like this is too long for the plot. Like I'm not even halfway through and I still have two other books I'm wanting to finish up. So I am getting a little frustrated with this because I want it to just move faster. Like I feel like the storyline is great, the plot's really good, the love interest situation's great. But there's so much added in that doesn't need to be there in my opinion um so kind of frustrated but moving along anyway what books are you guys reading lately let me know Okay, I'm at chapter 25, page 226, a little bit past halfway, and I'm just waiting for the romance to happen because right now they're still having issues, and I'm like, move along with this. But I really like what just happened, and I wish someone would do that for me, I'm just saying. So just a few options you guys will see in that video. I don't know if I'm actually gonna switch out all of them or if I'm gonna switch out some of them and then save some for like next month because that's like three months worth of unhaul. So I have quite a few, but anyway, I'll do what I can and then save whatever I need to. But anyway, back to reading. Hopefully you saw that reaction. Something just happened that kind of explained like what's been going on with these two for all these years. And then it just kind of gets brushed over. And I'm over here shook. <laughs> like, what? Oh my. I would be so mad. If you know, you know. I don't like that it, she just brushes over it. Like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> The whole book's about this, but it's fine. Also, just in case I haven't said it or you haven't done it, make sure that you share this with people on your YouTube page so that more people can find this video and this channel and we can have lots of friends to talk about books with. chapter 35 not that much left to go if you're still watching this leave an emoji that relates to Hanukkah <laughs> don't you hate in a book when it's like they take forever to finally get together or deal with the situation or whatever then it all falls apart and there's still so much to read Okay guys, it's the next day and I'm still not feeling great, but I did want to get on and recap this book because I finished it at like 1.30 in the morning. So I don't really talk to you about like what I thought of this as much as I probably should. I do need to say that's positive is there is no, like this is a clean book. Like there are two or three suggestive comments throughout the like 400 pages-ish, but Overall, it's clean. Like, the romance is nothing to worry about. Totally fine. So I really do appreciate that. The thing I didn't like is it almost seemed like there were some biblical references, but not only were they, like, taken out of context, it was almost like they were very distorted in almost... I don't know how to explain it without being, like, spoilers, but, like... It's almost like it would be turned into a bad thing. <laughs> That's not cool. That happened like very close to the end of this book, but I was just like, I'm pretty sure that's not what that story means, but I don't know if that was intentional or not. So I don't wanna like put that as a con for the book, 
but I'm pretty sure very out of context, potentially very distorted. So I really do have issues with that. But I loved the fullness of Jewish culture throughout this and like learning things that I didn't know before. I loved the New York City vibes. I loved that I could like picture what was going on throughout the story. That's personally important to me because if I can't picture it, I'm not going to connect with it. Like the dual POV throughout this, there were some characters that I could absolutely have lived without. But, but overall, I'm glad that I read this. I won't be rereading it. It will be featured in my little free library unhaul because I am not going to keep this book. But I am glad to have read it and I would like to see more Hanukkah books. I think that that would be awesome. I just would like more cleanness. Overall, I'm disappointed about a lot in this book and yet appreciate a lot in this book too. Very mid range, gonna give it three stars just because of those issues that I had, but also mixed with things that I really liked about it. I think it was entirely too long for the plot. Um, I think there's a lot that could be cut out of this, but at the same time, I appreciate that this was this author's first novel and I think it was done well considering that. At least it was like a decent read, it just wasn't the best and it wasn't entirely what I was hoping for, but still fine. <laughs> so that's that on that book. I don't remember which of these two remaining books I said I was least likely to DNF. I think they're both kind of on the same range. I definitely plan to finish both of them, but to continue with the holiday vibes, I am going to get back into Once Upon a December so I can finish this one up. And I know I was talking about finishing this in this video. It may not happen. I don't know, but I do want to get back into it. I just would like to finish this first. So let's get back into this one and see where this cute story heads. Hopefully it stays cute. Fingers crossed. I feel like I just changed myself. Okay, something was just revealed that I'm like, wait a minute, what are we doing here? I'm not gonna lie now, I'm worried this is gonna be a struggle. I'm gonna keep going for now, but we'll see. Okay, I just closed the book and I didn't put a bookmark in. Does that mean I'm DNFing it? I'm not sure yet. I know what page I was on. It's just taking a weird turn and I can't really talk about it without spoiling things but it's just like crosses a line that I'm not sure it just changes the whole dynamic of the love interests and I'll leave it at that I pick up with and try to finish managing God's money and then if I have time before I want to get this video edited and up I'll go back to this if I feel like it but this very well might be a DNF as well as the first book in this video, which is crazy how much I just don't have the patience to continue reading a book that I think I'm not gonna like, or it's gonna be weird, or <laughs> whatever. I would have thought at the beginning of this video that Winter Dream would be my most enjoyable read of this video, but here we are. Anyway, picking up with this, I'm about halfway through, so I would like to finish at least section four and get on with some of the others potentially even finish this but probably not i don't know i'll do the best i can let's do this okay so i will just say this chapter on tithing was fantastic so very much appreciate that he's talking all about like tithing and priorities and that's something that's been very close to my heart in 2023 so i really appreciate it I'm getting hungry and the next chapter is on debt so I know that's gonna be a heavy hitting one if you follow one, one of my other channels I'm doing my like finance updates and stuff like that and I have a lot of student loan debt but I'm hungry so I'm gonna go eat and then I'll get back into this it is getting late though so I'm gonna have to start editing soon but like I would love to finish this because I told you guys I would we'll see what I can do not far from the end but this section's been infinitely better than that section too definitely check out the video that i put out before this one if you want to hear my thoughts on the first half of the book but we're getting more towards that like but it's still not the same section one was just fantastic 
and the rest of the book has kind of frustrated me but also had really great points and verses throughout. So it's kind of like, no pun intended, but like taking the gold and leaving the rest. Okay, it's only several hours after I planned to finish this video, but I finished managing God's money and I really enjoyed most of the rest of this. Like I've said, there are things that I disagree with. Pretty much generally, I'm gonna pretend that section two doesn't exist. There was a lot of good in this and then there's just a lot that I'm like, mm, I don't agree with that. I don't think that's biblical. Very much was just like, critically thinking about it um, in the sense that there's a lot that I think that he does use scripture to prove his own point and maybe not necessarily what it actually says um, but then there's a lot that's very good and so I appreciate that. This also was my first nonfiction book of the year that I finished and that means that I actually get to go look at my nonfiction rotation and pull out another book that I can read on my own time. Doesn't have to be in January. It can literally be five months from now. It doesn't matter, but I can choose the next book from my nonfiction stack. So I'm excited about that also. Okay, so I think for my next nonfiction, I'm gonna do an isolating insecurity reread because I was thinking about this book the other day just for some things that are like kind of creeping up in my own mind lately and I would just love a refresher on this. I loved this book, a very biblical um, stance on insecurity and why we shouldn't live with that. Um, so very much looking forward to getting back into this. Okay, so to wrap everything up, I am not going to be continuing on with Once Upon a December. I think the twist that it took, twist, it's not a, like a plot twist or anything. I just think the turn that it took is not really what I want to read. And it's not necessarily that like it really solidified the DNF for me, but the fact that I wasn't really enjoying it when I was reading it just kind of, I just feel like that with the turn that it took is just kind of like, this is not going to be a book for me and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and unhaul this so you guys will see this in Monday's video. I also will be unhauling the matzo ball. Glad that I read it, glad that I finished it, but I'm not going to reread it. And so both of these are going to be in that little free library, haul and unhaul. DNF to this one. I was really hoping to like it, but just the language really got to me. It was just too much. It was so distracting from the plot. I'm shocked that these are the ones that I really, well, I mean, I did finish the matzo ball. So I guess I finished, finished these three. I'm shocked. I will be unhauling this one. I'll be keeping these two because I have my tabs in here so I am invested plus I want to have like all the bible verses and references. I'm so surprised I'm actually keeping Winter Dream. I think that this will be a fun reread now that I know what happens and kind of that I enjoy it once they get to Winter Dream. I think that I could enjoy the beginning of it more plus the beautiful illustrations. This is just such a nice copy to have. I did notice some typos though so I feel like this wasn't the best edited edition but it's just so pretty and I did enjoy it once I finally got into the winter dream part. So overall I feel like this was a super successful video. Now I Okay, this was supposed to be filmed over the span of like 48 hours and while it was a little bit more than 48 hours, all of the reading took place in way less than 48 hours. Let's just put it that way because I really did not read a ton throughout the last two days, um, but I'm pretty impressed by the limited amount of reading I did how much I finished. This is crazy. I don't think I've ever finished this much in one video that I can remember. If I have, you know, just remind me, be like, yeah, you definitely did. I feel very happy to know the books in here that I'm just not going to finish, to finish up my book miss reading, and to have finished my first nonfiction of the year. I feel like this was super successful. 
Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I can't really do the thumbs up since I'm holding them awkwardly like this. Um, subscribe if you have not already because Monday's video is going to be my little free library haul and unhaul where some of these will get unhauled and hopefully I'll have fun new books to show you. Um, and that's literally like my favorite video that I film. I love my TBR game and I love doing like different reading vlogs like this. But little free library halls are where it's at because it's fun to like get out and explore and you never know what you're gonna find fun times so stay tuned for that and then that's pretty much everything thank you guys so much for being here and i'll talk to you all next time bye